The new coach, John Samlal, wants to turn Troy into a football buzzsaw. John Sumrall has a lot of goals in mind as Troy's new head football coach. In the long term, he wants to return the Trojans to routinely competing for conference championships, playing in and winning bowl games and contending on a national level for spots in the top 25 rankings and ultimately the college football playoff. But more immediately, he wants to make playing against Troy an unpleasant experience for its opponents. Troy's not going to beat Troy, Sumrall said. This game's already hard enough to beat the other team. We're not going to beat ourselves. We're going to play with an edge. We're not going to get stupid penalties, but we're going to play hard. I'm a believer in fundamentals. Scheme matters, but I don't care what scheme you've got. If you are great at fundamentals, you can implement any scheme. We're going to play fast. We're going to play with the effort and energy that after we play our opponents, I want them to feel like, man, what did we just run into? That was a buzzsaw. The 39-year-old Sumrall was introduced as Troy's head coach on Monday, four days after he was hired to replace the fire Chip Lindsay. A Huntsville native, Sumrall spent the last three seasons seasons on the staff at Kentucky, where he starred at linebacker in the early 2000s. It's the second stint at Troy for Sumrall, who filled several roles including linebacker's coach and special teams coordinator from 2015-17 under Neil Brown. The Trojans went 21-5 in the last two of those seasons, including a pair of bowl victories and a Sun Belt Conference Championship in 2016. Without question, I'd like to thank Neil Brown, Sumrall said. I would never have come here if it wasn't for Neil. Without the opportunity to be on his staff, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. Neil has set the example for me of how to be a head football coach. And you better believe, the three years I was with him here, I studied every move. So there might be some similarities. There might be some differences too. Sumrall left Troy for LA Miss in 2018, the year before Brown departed to become head coach at West Virginia. Sumrall joined Mark Stoops' Kentucky staff as linebacker's coach in 2019 and recently added the title of co-defensive coordinator for a Wildcats team that is 9-3 heading into a January 1st Citrus Bowl date with Iowa. Troy slipped to 15-7 overall under Lindsay, who was fired November 21st with one game left in a 2021 campaign that ended 5-7 and out of bowl contention for the third straight season. Though Sumrall was at the top of most candidates' lists to replace Lindsay, Athletics Director Brent Jones said he still had to work his way through dozens of hopefuls before settling on the man he hired. This was a highly coveted job, Jones said. We started with 50 targets, we narrowed it down to 25, and I had 15 interviews. We did not make it easy on John, whatsoever. This was the most deliberate, thorough and most diverse candidate pool we've ever had. The last 11 days were simply grueling for myself and the candidates. Time and time again, Coach Sumrall's name kept rising to the top. Sumrall said he was hesitant to leave Kentucky, which is not only his alma mater but which in recent seasons has enjoyed its longest period of sustained in more than 40 years. However, he said Stoops encouraged him to go to Troy, telling him I don't want you to go, but you've got to go get this job. Sumrall's recruiting territory at Kentucky included the state of Alabama, and he said he will continue to build the Trojans' roster from its home state while adding in prospects from Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, Louisiana, Tennessee and other southeast states. He also promised we're going to compete for conference championships and we're going to win them. Now I'm not going to sit here and guarantee we're going to win them every year, but we're going to compete for them, Sumrall said. That's our standard. We want to be in the conference championship game. We want to play in and we want to win bowl games. We want to be ranked in the top 25. I want to sell out Veterans Memorial Stadium every time we play here. That takes everybody being bought in. And I want to develop total Trojans men, a Troy that we can all be proud of, men of character, men that live lives that matter, that change other people's lives. We want to change lives to change lives. That's our goal.